and welcome back to the program. Well, we're going to wrap up this month's episode in Okaloosa County. Aubrey Robbie with the United Way of the Emerald Coast is here to join us uh, to talk about some things that they have going on in and around Oakland County and ways that you can get involved with the United, United Way of the Emerald Coast. Aubrey, thank you so much for coming on the program today. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm sure everybody out there has heard of the United Way. You've seen the United Way logo. You've, you're familiar with it. They're familiar with it in, in some way, but Maybe not everybody knows exactly what you guys do in the community and how you guys uh, help out in the community. Tell us a little bit about the United Way of the Emerald Coast and your mission uh, in, in, in our area. Yeah, definitely. So um, United Way Emerald Coast is a local nonprofit organization, and we serve both Okaloosa and Walton counties. Um, so many of you may know, but we are a part of United Way worldwide with over 1,800 other United Ways across the globe. But all of the money raised here, all of our programs and initiatives focus on Okaloosa and Walton County residents. Um, so we fight for a population called the Alice household, and Alice stands for asset limited income constrained, but employed. So these are individuals that you see on your day-to-day -day life, maybe at the grocery store, um, checking you out, or a local teacher. They're just individuals living paycheck to paycheck, and they're just one emergency away from falling beneath that threshold. So that's our mission, is just to help that Alice population um, survive. <laughs> so how, how can people, if somebody at home maybe need some help or, or they need to be connected with an organization that they can receive assistance from, how can they go about uh, getting that help or how, how can you guys, you know, match them with the help that they need? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we partner with 211, which is a local 24-7 hotline um, with someone on the other end who has all of those resources and services available. So they're able to help you walk through that process, find the best organization that has the best services for your needs, and also help brainstorm some other options if needed. Great. So uh, let's talk about an event that you guys have coming up uh, pretty soon, the 40 Under 40 event. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that one. Yeah, definitely. So um, this is our third 40 under 40 awards. Um, so the goal of this is to, you know, um, recognize 40 individuals under the age of 40 who are just doing great work, not only in their careers and in their workplaces, but also making a positive impact in Oglusa and Walton counties. So do these people already know if they won or are they going to be surprised at an event or, or how does that, how, how do you all acknowledge or, or recognize these, these recipients? Yeah, definitely. So we're actually right now in the middle of um, the process. So we just closed nominations, I believe, last Monday, and we received close to 160 nominations this year. So a lot of people um, that are obviously doing great work here in our community. Um, so soon they will receive an email saying that they've been nominated and they will have the option to fill out an application. Um, so once they fill out that application, we have a selection committee that's comprised of uh, local established leaders, but also some of our past 40 under 40 honorees. And they will sit down, they'll read those applications, score them, and then they actually get together for a deliberation so they can discuss those um, nominees and, and who really deserves to be an honoree this year. So they don't net know that they're nominated. Um, those applications are coming. So if you nominated someone, keep, keep on that keep your eye out, um, applications will be coming soon. And then once they get um, through that selection committee process and our honorees are chosen, they are you know, sent that information, asked to have a free headshot done, and then we celebrate them in late September with a big award ceremony. You know, that is it's great to hear that you guys are honoring 40 uh, mm -hmm. people, but you had uh, 160 some odd applications. I mean, that really does speak volumes to the the community and how many people are out there giving back to the community and are, or, you know, making an impact. So that is fantastic to hear. Um, so the event in September, if mm -hmm. somebody would like to attend, if somebody would like to sponsor, how can they, how can they go about getting tickets or supporting that event? Yeah, so if you're interested in sponsoring, there's still a number of um, ways that you can do so. And to, to learn more about it, you can just contact me. Um, and I can give you my contact information. It's Aubrey at united-way.org. Um, and if you're interested in attending the event, just keep your eye out. We're still solidifying some details, but you'll be able to get tickets on our website. All right, great. Uh, well, Aubrey, thank you so much 
for coming on the show and telling us about uh, this event and you know, how people can get involved with the United Way. Um, anything else coming up towards the end of the year? We got about 30 seconds. Y'all have anything coming up in, around Christmas time? I know it's already, you know, it's kind of hard to think about that, but I, I think we're getting pretty close to where at the hardware stores and places like that, they're going to start putting out the Christmas decorations here pretty soon. Yeah. So y'all have yeah, anything so coming up latter part of the year? Um, so we have a lot going on. We have Stuff the Bus right now. Um, that's happening this Saturday. We have our annual meeting today and then 40 under 40 awards on the horizon. So um, definitely lots going on. If you're interested, um, like I said, you can just visit the website or contact me. Good. Aubrey, thank you so much for coming on the show today. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, again, thanks for having me. Absolutely. And thank you for tuning in. Join us next month as we take another look across the Gulf Coast.